Everyone seems to be going nuts over the weekend and even into today talking about this idea of GameCube coming to Nintendo Switch Online. Now, obviously a lot of the speculation is that it would actually be more like Nintendo Switch 2, and I totally understand because obviously emulating and playing Nintendo's GameCube uh, in, you know, the upgraded HD they tend to put the games in on NSO. And obviously with online multiplayer and everything, it does make a lot of sense to think, well, maybe having more powerful hardware could make it better. You know, smooth 60 FPS. There are some issues, of course, when we talk about, you know, GameCube, NSO, such as the fact that the Nintendo Switch uses digital buttons instead of analog triggers. But, you know, a lot of that's been overcome over the years, usually by just full sending the button press and you kind of lose some of that fine-tuned control. You can also maybe use a GameCube controller adapter like they have for Smash Bros or possibly Nintendo could just release NSO related GameCube controllers like they did for some of their other platforms. So look, there's already workarounds, but what I find fascinating of course is why this is being talked about because honestly it could mean a lot of things and it's because Nintendo did something over the weekend that's quite Fascinating, this goes all the way back to January 27th. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Nintendo actually did. So they filed these trademarks out in the UK. And if you look at these trademarks, you look at this image here, you'll see Mark Tax, Polka Park Galar, December 11th. Then you see these updated ones for January 23rd. So you see what is clearly a GameCube, you know, controller, but then you also see a trademark related to just the button layout. That's all this one in, is here is just a trademark about the button layout rather than the entire GameCube controller. Now that's obviously quite fascinating and because these trademarks were filed so recently on January 23rd, 2024, it's led to a ton of speculation that GameCube could be coming in some way. Why else would they file these trademarks? Now, these are brand new trademarks. I did some digging. These aren't like re-upping old trademarks and just maintaining trademarks. They are new. And why would there be new ones? And why would they really want to go after the button layout itself? And again, this is why people are speculating Nintendo Switch Online GameCube games, which is quite fascinating considering that one, uh, that would be a really big ad to NSO. And two, we've been getting a lot of GameCube remakes and remasters. So a lot of us sort of figured maybe they're just going to remake and remaster pretty much all of their, you know, main big GameCube games. And we don't need them on NSO because Nintendo's going to sell them individually. But I have a few other possibilities I want to throw out there for this. Now, remember I said the button layout itself was trademarked. Now, there's two things you could get out of trademarking a button layout. One of those is they plan to use said button layout in the future on a major device. And I'm not talking about just re-releasing GameCube controllers. They wouldn't need to file these trademarks to do that. I'm talking the outside shot that Nintendo Switch 2 uses this button layout. Now, again, I know that is a major, like, whoa moment but i'm just throwing out there it's a possibility i think it's extremely unlikely one other thing we need to talk about though are these third party accessories there are third party accessories such as the nixie wizard controller that uses the gamecube controller button layout and they're able to do that because nintendo didn't have trademarks and copyrights around that button layout in the past these trademarks could be to eliminate third parties from being able to use these button layouts on future controllers. Now, that doesn't mean you can't go out and buy a Nixie Wizard right now. They are still available to purchase, but this could lead to Nintendo eventually blocking the creation of these kind of controllers in the future with this button layout. Again, Nintendo could literally just be doing this to kind of be in a since they don't release actual, you know, Joy-Cons that feature this sort of stuff. Now, one thing to also note is that, yes, this could be for controllers they plan to release for the Nintendo Switch or Switch 2 that slide on the side, like the NES controllers, the SNES controllers, the Genesis controllers, the N64 controller. And it could just be because they wanted to create a new trademark around it because GameCube is coming to Nintendo Switch online. And this is why people are talking so much about it. 
Now, if you want to ask my honest thoughts on this, I do think it is possible that Nintendo can remake and remaster all these GameCube games and still give us an NSO with some of these same games. Because look, the remakes and remasters are not the original experiences. And I'll give you an example of one Nintendo's already done. They remade, like literally remade, Link's Awakening and released it back in 2019. And yet you could still play Link's Awakening and Link's Awakening DX on NSO. So it's not like Nintendo's opposed to having a remake or remaster out there, but still having the original in the original form available to play. So I will say that just because they're doing that a lot here towards the end of the Nintendo Switch generation, there's also quite a lot of really good GameCube games, especially from third-party companies. So there still could be a really big reason to add it in. I mean, one thing for an example, there's a ton of Mario Party games stuck on GameCube. Nintendo's probably never going to remake or remaster those. So the closest we could get is like, you know, just bringing it into HD on Nintendo Switch Online. And obviously, if you think about GameCube, that would be a one of the most significant value adds to NSO. And we've had some pretty amazing value adds over the years already. But imagine adding GameCube into that expansion pass that's just going to get a lot of people to buy the expansion pack version of Nintendo Switch Online, get a lot of people to upgrade. It also could end up driving more and more subscribers to Nintendo's retro Nintendo Switch Online service. And I know there's more to the online service, right? We have game backups, cloud backups, right? We have online gameplay and, yes, free game trials and sometimes just free games that they give us and then taketh away. Hello, Super Mario 35. They give us a Duck Hunt 40. Please don't just take that one away from us. We haven't had Duck Hunt, like anything new in Duck Hunt in so long. Like I'm definitely scared F-099 is going to vanish one day just because, right? They got to create this whole scarcity thing. Look, I don't know what Nintendo is going to do, right? You don't know either. The fun part about talking about this is just imagining all the possibilities. And it's quite possible I haven't even, you know, touched the tip of possibilities. So, Here's a couple of things I want you guys to do down in the comments. One, I want you to go down there and let me know what you think these trademarks mean, if they mean anything at all. Two, let's work on a presumption that GameCube comes to Nintendo Switch Online at some point. Go down there and give me the top five GameCube games you would like to see added to a Nintendo Switch Online service or Nintendo Switch 2 Online service. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick top five for me. Look, I want the original version of the Wind Waker. It is what it is. I need the Tingle Tuner back. Love the Wind Waker HD. Give me the OG. Need it. Uh, look, I might not need Sunshine thanks to Super Mario 3D All-Stars, but you know what I do want? The original versions of Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2. Put them both on there. I know people are going to be like, oh, but the remasters, and I understand. I don't care. I want them. The other couple of games I want is Eternal Darkness to come back. And yes, the OG Beautiful Joe. <sighs> Pretty good list, if I say so myself. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am the Theater Robojets from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you in the next video. <laughs>